Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are here building what just might be my best build to date. We are building a tiny, well it's really not tiny, we're building a suburban dream home if you will. I don't know if it's my dream home but I do know that I've been playing with it on TikTok live with all of you all and um, you guys love it and that makes me feel incredible. We even have a cursed diagonal wall. Who would have thought that I would have been able to pull off a diagonal motherfucking wall? But there she is, and she is beautiful. Now, it took a little bit for this house to come together, so I did cut the landscaping because it's very samey same. If you guys ever want me to do a video about how I landscape, I I could tell you. I, I use green bushes and those little, like, cardinal flowers or whatever. They're, like, white, pink blue or purple I fucking use them all the time um and I use low-lying flowers to try to fill in all my mistakes and then when in doubt I add rocks so that's really it so I originally was going to make this a blue suburban because I love traditional suburban houses where I lived growing up we didn't have anything like that we still don't have anything like that and where I live now we have quite a few like craftsman style homes and more like modern farmhouse builds. I don't know, there's been a ton of those popping up all over my neighborhood. But at the very end, I end up actually making it a greenhouse because I didn't like the contrast of the really dark roof texture with the blue. Was it for me? But we've got some shuttered windows. The house ends up being pretty big in my opinion. I want to say it ends up being a 4-3, but there is an office that could definitely be an extra bedroom if you needed. But there is a bedroom downstairs, which is going to be a primary bedroom with a teeny tiny bathroom. It could have been bigger, but could have not had one, you know. Then there is two rooms upstairs that share a Jack and Jill bathroom, which you know how I feel about Jack and Jill bathrooms in this. In this channel, we love Jack and Jill bathrooms. And then there is another bedroom with an ensuite that I ended up really liking. I was really proud I made the stair landing super tiny because I normally feel like they're like... I don't know, just like kind of really fucking big when I do them. Um, and for those of you who are probably wondering, like, why do I look like a disaster right now? So I just got out of the bath. Today is a self-care day because I am back at school like many of you. Um, and school is kicking my booty. Um, I have been so busy the last couple weeks. I missed a few uploads. I haven't been on live as much. So I'm trying to get back ahead and pre-record just a smidge. Just a smidge. Um, but I really don't want to stop uploading three times a week. I really enjoy that schedule. I feel like you all enjoy that schedule. Um, by the way, thank you all for like liking my videos, commenting on my videos. It makes me feel very top tier. Um, but it's just been really hard for me. So after my bath on my self-care day, I just couldn't relax. So I was like, you know what I need to do right now? I'm going to build something. Building helps me relax. So I was like, all right, I'm going to build. Start building. Five minutes in, my OBS is like, yeah, LOL, you don't have enough space on your computer. I have a huge computer. I love my computer. If you guys ever want like an in-depth video about my computer, I would love to give that to you. But the point is, it's a big fucking computer, right? I'm not just running out of space willy-nilly. But I did. I did run out of space because I've been on like oh, that little transition of all the <laughs> landscaping just popping up. I've been on quite the little journey of loving the fall vibes and I have recorded on Twitch, TikTok Live, or just like for funsies. Ah, oh, here comes the green. The green looks so good in my opinion. Um, recording all my spooky builds. I have so much coming for the month of October. That is my birth month for starters, just so you guys know. And um, I have really just been diving into the occult style gameplay, which if you know me, that's not really where I typically lean in terms of gameplay. So looking forward to it. I had a lot of fun building these builds, but the point is I had a lot in the chamber that I needed to edit and I absolutely despise editing videos. If any of you have ever edited a video of yourself, there is there's something quite humbling about listening to yourself talk, especially with a face cam view because I don't really sit still. And sometimes I veer off way too much and I look at my build way too much. And then other times I veer off and I look at myself too much and the eye contact is crazy. And long story short, it's a really, really fucking humbling experience, you guys. And that is that. I do have some stories to tell you. 
if you've been on live with me, you might have heard these, so sorry. I am not that exciting, so I don't always have a lot of stories to tell, but I thought I would tell this one. So, for those of you who've been keeping up with me, you would know I managed to get Zach Bryan tickets, which I was so excited about. He did just get arrested. Um, I don't really know why. I don't really care why. Someone tell me why in the comments. I don't know. But, I got tickets to see him in Wichita, Kansas. Now, I have never been to Wichita, Kansas. I'm sure many of you have not as either. But let me tell you, the parties in Wichita. I had so much fun in Kansas. I would move there. The housing market, first of all, very affordable, it seems. But more than that, so fun. So I land on a Saturday, super tired. I haven't slept because I worked Friday night, got home at like 4.30, had an early flight, so traveled all day, had to catch connecting, and then like six hours later, finally landed in Wichita. It's like 3 o'clock now. I'm hungry. You know, girls got to eat. So I go to lunch right near my hotel. I was in like historic old town kind of district. I don't know the technical terms. I'm so sorry to all my Kansinians who might be in the chat right now. But I go to lunch and I'm like, what the hell's going on? There's like all these people, they're all wearing like matching t-shirts and they're drinking. So like, what's, what's going on? So I asked the waitress and she's like, oh, there is a cancer pub crawl going on. It's like a huge deal around here. And like people were you had to like pre-sign up and you had teams and you all had like color coordinated shirts but not only were they wearing like matching team shirts but they had team names and they all had like themes i'm like fuck it this is a good cause i am gonna go pub crawl at three in the afternoon all right flash forward about three hours i am on an elevated surface there is ice, ice baby, ints, 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 over my head. I just bought a tray of Jello shots. I'm cheersing with my new 40-year-old besties. It is only like 5.30, RIP Jimmy Buffett, but it was 5 o'clock in Wichita, Kansas, and I was doing very well, okay? I met these people. They were very kind. I don't really know all the details to how we became BFFs, but they let me join their team. They got me a shirt. I have the shirt. I would show it to you, but I don't know where it is off the top of my head, and I'm not digging through my closet right now, but I promise I have one. I, I would not lie about this at this point, and I would put videos in, but I'm not showing you the Snapchat memories from that day because, again, this is the internet, and it is forever, but I'm telling you, I am telling you, Wichita, Kansas is where the fucking party is at. I couldn't believe it either. If you would have told me this the day before, I would have laughed. I would have scoffed. <laughs> Never. What the fuck is going on in Wichita? I don't know. Well, I do now. Um, and the fact that it went to such a good cause, too, just made it even better. But anyway, that's what I did. So I proceeded to get intoxicated in the middle of the day. Um, not even for my Zach Bryan concert. Had one of the best slumbers of my life. I slept from, like... Because, granted, I hadn't slept the night before at all. And I was working. So I slept from like 8.30 to like 10.30, woke up, turned the TV off, went back to sleep till 10.30 a.m. It was like being born again. I haven't slept that good since before I popped out of my mom. And let me just say, I would certainly go back to Wichita. My only, only gripe is they don't do a lot of direct flights into Wichita. And as a newly vetted travel girly, because I didn't start traveling very much until really this year... Maybe the year before. I This was the only time I've ever done a connecting flight. It was fucking rough. It was fucking rough. Okay? Zero, zero out of ten on the connecting flights. The only saving grace is that I got a cheese danish from Starbucks. And if you've never tried one, you're missing it. You're missing out. Go order one. So, you guys are about to see my new hyperfixation decoration. Um, I am now a whore for wall sconces. I put them all over this fucking house. I put them all over, and I have no regrets about them. I still think they look even fuck. I actually think they look more beautiful as I watch this footage back. Now. They are perfect. And, you know, what's not, like, embarrassing, but, like, maybe a little. I know, right off the top of my head, there are at least eight wall sconces downside, or downstairs. And I think there might be two in the primary bedroom. And there might be some in the hallway. I don't know. But I was literally just, you get a wall sconce. You get a wall sconce. I was being an absolute menace with these wall sconces. And I think they are beautiful. I 
love building. I don't know if I'm a great builder, but I do it a lot. And with that being said, I have, I am guilty of have bought packs simply for the items. Now, I actually happen to really like growing together. I do. I'm family gameplay girly. That is right up my alley. But when I tell you between the tile floors, the showers, the bathroom items, the wall sconces, I mean, the list can go on and on. What a fucking top tier pack. A top tier pack. This is not a limited pack build. And you're about to see me go fucking crazy with the packs. And I do a lot of limited pack stuff. I've been rebuilding Newcrest and doing all that fun stuff. But I'm about to go nuts. As you can see, I went ahead and cut it out because I spent like kind of a long time doing it. And I know it's clipping a little bit and some of you might not like that. I do. Um, so if you don't, just delete it or you know, build your own house. That's cool too. No hard hard feelings here unless you say something mean to me in the comments, then there will be a lot of hard feelings and you're going to ruin my mom's day cuz I'm going to have to call her and cry about the mean comment. But I went crazy with the book nook kit. I don't particularly love kits, but that, oh lord, what's happened there? Going crazy. But I do love that stupid book nook kit. It is so, so effing good. I, mm, it, it is, it, it, it is the work of God's. It is biblical how good that fucking pack is. And it's only $5, and I really like it. And you know what? That's one of the only packs I'll say that about. Be like, oh, it's only $5. Because EA really likes to bend us over sometimes with all these packs they be letting out. Not the Booknut Kid. That that was such a hit, such a slay. I recommend that one. I, I fucking like that pack, okay? And then, of course, you know, I'm going to add in just a gazillion and gazillion one packs. Let me know if, do you guys like limited pack builds? Do you like watching limited pack builds? Because I've found that I personally love watching creators who build with fucking everything because I don't have even now I don't have everything but in terms of playing I like builders who use like limited packs and stuff like that I will say I did without limited packs I took the shell of this house with all the landscaping and the entire floor plan done and I did that version on the gallery I want to say it's just like basic suburban shell my gallery ID, as always, is in the description box down below. And then I also uploaded the final product, which you'll see when it's finished. And a lot of people in live ended up liking that because even me as a builder, I'm not a builder. I lied. I'm a decorator. I like to decorate. I don't want to fucking put landscaping down or do floor plans. I'm not very good at them. You know, I do the same thing over and over. So, I just like to decorate, and I am here for the people, by the people, you know? And you guys said you like to decorate, so I went ahead and did that, and it was a huge hit. People in live were telling me, they're like, oh my god, I decorated your shell, it was so therapeutic, it was so fun, and I love hearing stuff like that. So, I'm going to try to start doing that whenever I finish a shell, because when I build, I have a very particular process. It's like, exterior, floor plan, so I can do the windows, landscaping, inside, like, that's pretty much what I stick to. I get the shitty stuff out of the way first, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to try to start uploading shell versions of my houses, just so you, you guys can decorate them if you want, because honestly, even tonight when I was going to just try to do some therapeutic building before I realized that I need to get on the stick about editing stuff, even I was like, mm, you know what, I really just want to decorate something. Sometimes if I post an apartment, that's literally why. It was like, mm, I don't have it in me today to do anything but decorate. Um, again, multiple packs used. This is from the, not the pastel pop kit, the, I can't remember the name of it, but it's like the eccentric, eclectic style kit. I really like that fucking kit. I know it's a little crazy and out there, but I love it. I also want to know, did you guys get the new kits? Did you get the Modern Lux kit or the poolside kit or whatever it's called because I I need to know if the five dollars is worth the little picture frame TV because it might be in my opinion I don't know I need you guys to give me your opinions there is a storyline to this house I just now realizing it because you don't see the storyline until you get upstairs but really it's not a storyline I just I literally found one piece of wall art and I was like yep this is gonna be my whole fucking personality today and you're about to see it come up um maybe I'll wait so you guys can like take a couple guesses but you're gonna oh here here it's too late you're gonna see it yeah so I 
I decided that the eldest child in this house is going to be a homeschooled, world-traveling, professional teenage snowboarder who lives in suburbia. I, I recognize that doesn't necessarily make sense. I also recognize that this is my save file and what I say goes. So I'm sticking with that story. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know why I, I thought that, but I did. Oh, yep, here comes even more packs and, and awards and trophies to go in my storyline. I, I will justify using a billion packs if I can say, it's for the storyline. And I fucking love storylines. Like, honestly, if you have a storyline that you want me to build a house for, just fucking give it to me. The more details, the better. Drop it in the comments and don't be surprised if I fucking hyper fixate on that until I build you a house that I feel is worthy. The only thing I'm nervous about doing, I'm shitty at doing modern builds. If you've seen any of the modern builds I've produced on this channel, which are literally fucking embarrassing, to they are embarrassing at the time of delivery, let alone reflecting on them. So if you want a modern house, like, you want mid-century modern, I'm your girl. I fucking love that style. But regular modern, I... I'm sorry, guys. I'm not very slay at that. Oh, here we go. Oh, I also wanted the mom to be an author. Um, because I was already using the book nook kit, and I was like, fuck it, I want to use those book... I'm going to say bookshelves, but the books that are shelves, the stacks of books. Um, yeah, I, I went there, I did that. Then I made a child's bedroom. It's very much, like, science-centric. I do this theme a lot. I really need some to branch out in terms of my kids' bedrooms. I just, like, get stuck in my rut. Like, you guys know how it is. You, I'm sure you guys have been stuck in the rut. But I know for a fact I give them, like, a little science table, lots of bookshelves, again, as if there were not enough. It's funny, though, that I use so many bookshelves all over this house because a friend of mine, his mother is actually a published author. She's published multiple books, I would tell you, but I know she does, like, a vlog um, and stuff, and I, d I don't know. I feel weird about telling people where I live. Sorry. I'm sure most of you already figured it out, but, like, that's... I, I just do. Um, but anyway... The point is, she has a gazillion bookshelves just like the ones in this house and literally told me, she's like, Tiana, I became an author because I'm obsessed with reading. And not a lot of people can do that because I know, like, I am obsessed with reading. And don't get me wrong, I used to be on my Wattpad grind. I used to fucking, mm. I remember reading those little Wattpad books, though, and you'd get to, like, the intro and they'd say, like, oh, like, you know, excuse me, like, English is not my first language. And now, those books always hit harder. I don't know where these where these little girls were coming from. I don't know which language they, they spoke, but they did speak directly to my fucking soul. The and like they'd be like, "Oh, sorry, I caught like a case of severe bronchitis and I almost died. We'll do a two part update tomorrow." I'm like, "Girl, are you okay? Are these are these girls okay?" <laughs> um, and you know what? I did just admit that on the internet, and I don't care because I do realize one thing: I am not nearly as cringy as I thought I was. Um, and I think if you think you're as cringy as you think you are in your brain, first of all, you're wrong. Second of all, like, you need some perspective. Um, as someone who sits in her office, sweating, alone for multiple hours on end, talking to herself with her dog, my dog's behind me, there are, you know, I'm not that cringy. There are a lot of people who like to hang out with me whenever I'm on live. And I'm like, I love when chat says slay. And then for the next hundred things that pop up in chat, it's slay, 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 slay. In my short lifespan legacy challenge that I'm playing on TikTok Live, we just had our third gen, but our second generation just had their first baby, so our third gen. And he is a boy. His name is Slay Tur. Slay Tur. Spelled like that. And when I tell you I cackled on live for like five minutes about it, I, I could laugh again about it. I'm serious. So basically my dream at this point is to day drink in Wichita, Kansas in my multi-million square foot home that I bought for $3 and a bucket of raspberries with my child named Slay Tur and make sim videos for all of you till I die of happiness because that's what would kill me if that was my life. Um, and you know what? Oh, we're down in the office. I forgot we didn't finish that yet. I get so distracted. You guys gotta tell me if this irritates you the way I do my speed builds. Actually, you know what? Don't, because I probably won't be able to change. I cannot talk about a build for 25 minutes straight. I, I gotta share my life. You know, I don't, 
I don't see a professional anymore, and so someone has to listen to me. And you know what? If you don't want it to be you, I completely understand. But in my own brain, I feel like my stories are pretty good. I mean, I would like to listen to them. Um, and the people at work, I work with, kind of like listening to them. And we've hung out socially twice now. So I think we're really friends. I think we're past the coworker stage. Not sure. Um, I might be reading into this. I do that sometimes. But we are almost finished with the last part of our build. And then we will go ahead and jump into an in-game tour so you guys can see it live. Without further ado, let's pop into the live mode. All right, party people. So as you can see, we are here with one of my favorite builds. And it looks like some of the terrain paint might have deleted. Thank you, Sims team. But other than that, this is her. She's pretty. This is her from every angle. Gotta get the angles. Cute little backyard. And I forgot to say this when I was rambling on and on during the speed build, but this fence from, I believe it's Outdoor Living. Let me check. Um, yes, Outdoor Living. Literally put it in the same tier as the columns from Get Together. I am fucking obsessed with this white picket fence. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So good. But let's take a little tour of the final house. She is gorge, 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 gorgeous, gorgeous green. But anyway, you come in and you have a nice little hallway with some picture frames. I just love this door from going together. All that craftsman style stuff is beautiful in my opinion. Then we have a cute little office that could very easily become another bedroom if you wanted maybe a grandparent suite or even a guest room for the stayovers. Then, I really just love the flow of this place. It came together really nicely. I struggle with floor plans quite a bit. Then, of course, we have the green appliances from, again, growing together. And the counters from Parenthood paired really nice together. Really happy with how it came overall. Except I've been playing in this house, and one thing I've noticed is your Sims will come to this side to do the cooking. So, I hope you don't mind that. But I was not going to turn it around because the cabinets are on the side I have them on. Then, of course, we have a nice big dining table. I really like this. in the arch... <sighs> so good. I'm telling you, the growing together stuff is so fucking good. Then, of course, we have a nice little formal living room with so many wall sconces. And you know what? I don't care. Not to mention all my bookshelves. I know they're clipping a bit. Please let me know if you mind that because I don't think I mind it that much. Um, I've been playing in this house. I haven't really minded it because there's some clipping that I literally cannot stand. I'm like, ugh, disgusting. But anyway, then you come over here and I really like like, ideally, like, if I had a dream home, I would like for the primary suite to be downstairs. It's more adult. I think it's, like, safer if you have kiddos and whatnot. Um, and it's very gorgeous, gorgeous green. She's beautiful. Oh, so good. And then they have a teeny, tiny little bathroom ensuite. It's small, but it does the job. I mean, realistically, what more do you need? And then this shower is actually base game. And, oh, shit. Just kidding. So this shower, like I said, was base game, but if you put move objects on, you can actually slide it in, and it leaves for like a really sleek design in my opinion, and then you can add whatever tile you want. So if you want that little life hack to kind of spice up what you have in base game already, then of course you're going to go upstairs and you have this little stair landing. I tried to make them look a little different by adding some trophies and plants and whatnot, but it's little, it's a wheel up here. Then we have, of course, our professional snowboarder teenage high or whatever I, don't, I can't even remember what I said at this point I talk too much talk too much talk too fast but this is that bedroom and I think it's really pretty then of course the ensuite all the bathrooms are the same that's why I don't leave them in my builds but I again did like something similar except I used the university shower just because I I felt like it I don't know sorry then of course we have another bedroom again gorgeous gorgeous green there is a little bit of a theme here um but I imagine this is also for a teenager and then they have, of course, this little thing right here. I wanted to try to use one of the high school years, like, windows with the thing that you can climb out of. But I was having a hard time with it, so I said, fuck it, and didn't do it. And then, of course, the Jack and Jill bathroom. Those are a staple here on my channel. If you're new, um, we love Jack and Jill bathrooms here. Literally, I am obsessed. And then, of course, we have a child's room. It's very space-agey and scientific, in my opinion. And then the backyard, of course, is not all that special. But you can find this house as well as the unfurnished shell on my gallery, which is, again, linked in the description box down below. And if you enjoyed this build, don't forget to like this video, comment down below what you'd like to see next, maybe give me a storyline I could build with. 
and subscribe to my channel. I love when you guys do that. We are so, so close to hitting 300 subscribers, and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to drink your water. Bye, everybody.